Hi, it's Dr. Anna here. Welcome to day one of my 21 day Vita Pura Detox Challenge. So I wanna help you all get started as I myself getting started today over the next um, few days really working to prioritize our path to detoxification. So there are a couple things that I wanna go over with you and the resources is are when you went to the page kabekahelp.com forward slash 21 dash day dash detox you're able to download some helpful handouts and sheets for you one is the chapter in my book this is my workbook that's on my uh, be to pure store the women's restorative health method and the chapter on detox I provided for all of you to have the do, you know, getting into detox and getting started with detoxification. So this chapter you have to download for, for free on that um, welcome page. In the detox, we first are talking about really the ins and outs of detox, right? What must come in must go out, and we want that to go out very well. So if any of you are, are suffering with constipation, I want to make it really clear. Detoxification is about moving your toxins out. What you know, One of the ways we detoxify is through our rectum, right? Through our colon. So elimination, having regular poops, very, very important. We urinate out toxins, exhale toxins, sweat toxins, teardrops, toxins so we wouldn't be eliminating toxins during this detox if you're having trouble with constipation a probiotic is very important so things to have on hand we all need probiotics because of the GMOs and the natural the antibiotics that are in the foods that we're eating and that can affect our natural gut flora our microbiome which is hugely important I'll come back to that more later on in the detox but a probiotic is really important. We want at least 50 billion organisms in a capsule of your probiotic or per dose of your probiotic, um, which can also be used um, um, using as vaginal douching or with uh, enema too to really colonate healthy gut. So anyway, so probiotic, very important. This other things to help move the bowel that are important for detoxification is vitamin C. Okay, we all need extra vitamin C, and you can use, there are many good sources of vitamin C, powdered forms, et cetera, and magnesium. So pure sources of magnesium as well are going to be very important to help um, with having healthy bowel movements and the detoxification pathway. So magnesium malate, magnesium citrate will flush you um, more readily also. So keep that in mind. So in the um, detoxification guide, I want you to refer to the charts that I put in here for you. So we have the detoxification charts. And the first 10 days is really about weaning off caffeine, antacids, alcohol, and sugars, and being completely gluten-free. And that also means avoiding the gluten-free aisles, which are just full of sugar-laden carbohydrate, um, product. So this detox for all of us, I want it to be about re-eating, you know, reconnecting with whole foods from nature versus what's in a bag, box, or, you know, uh, can, right? I want you to reconnect with whole foods from nature and, and make that your priority during the state. It's amazing. First part of detox is reducing the, to reducing the toxins that we're getting in. So that's hugely important. So for the next 10 days, we're gonna be weaning off um, caffeine, beginning gluten-free, stopping antacids. So that's really kind of tricky, especially if you've been used to antacids. So don't um, stop them cold turkey, but start taking like a, a tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar a day. That's fantastic. Digestive enzymes, we use a V-Design chewable that I use for my patients. But also you can use uh, Digest Gold, which is available at the health food store. But good digestive enzymes, very important if you've been on antacids. So we want to really work with that. And, and probiotics are essential for you as well. And the other thing is alcohol and sugars. Now, uh, later this week, I'll be joining a MindShare Summit that my dear friend JJ Virgin 
has each year and um, it's challenging when we have parties events etc to go to and we want some social alcohol but I have made the concoction of the San Pellegrino or sparkling world water with some lime and mint and it's my own little uh, sparkling cocktail that I like to drink in my social gatherings and that's important so for the next 10 days we're doing that and starting to open our detox pathways many of you are already on mighty maca greens mighty maca contains essential ingredients for detoxification including milk thistle quercetin including uh, resveratrol and turmeric curcumin and a greens blend and fiber blend and enzyme blend and anti-inflammatories so one to two scoops and if you're getting headaches from withdrawing from caffeine take even two to four scoops of mighty maca a day three to four we have clients that have taken as many as six six scoops a day very safely so um, but this will help start to open your detox pathways if you're new to detoxification go slow sometimes it's a half a scoop at the end of your meal and that's really critical the other thing I've uh, talked to our clients about is is doing some healthy protein we use our cleanse shake again which has is full of um, detoxification nutrients so the purity cleanse GI shake or the purity cleanse shake are fantastic for a detoxification nutrients and to help give you the protein with very low carb um, component so that we're reducing sugars helping you break the cycle of cravings as well and then in our program one of the things I recommend in our bundle is the pure de sustain additional detoxification support we're going through the detox because we want to cleanse toxins out of our system and I'm going to show you a little slide presentation in just a second bear with me um, in the handouts that I've given you I've given you a transformation progress tracker so these are one of the download forms. So this includes writing your Vita Pure transformation statement, the I am, I believe I am statement, and also taking your baseline weights and measurement, including your starting weight, whether you want to or not. It's good to kind of see where you are and write that down. Your body fat, waist measurements, hip measurements, and then the two questionnaires that I put in there for you and that's the PSQ and MSQ. So I want you to um, fill out those forms starting today and keep track during the progress every day with your PSQ, your positivity self-assessment questionnaire. Now let's talk a little bit about more about why we detox and also just telling you too as you're preparing for this 21 day challenge is clean out your cupboards from you know the things that you know you're not supposed to be eating it's like get the heroin out of the home right so clean out the bags of this the boxes of that get it out put it out of sight out of sight out of mind you know that saying it really does bear merit so uh, so that I want you to do and then stock your pantry with the healthy things some of my favorite cookbooks my um, one of my very very favorite cookbook I pulled off the shelf is the grain brain cookbook by David Perlmutter I love this cookbook it's got great recipes and it's low again low carb low sugar gluten-free we want good healthy sources I have a few other cookbooks that I love um, like from my friend Leanne Healy the whole life nutrition cookbooks amazing the longevity cookbook by Rebecca Katz is absolutely beautiful um, I love JJ Virgin's, Virgin's Sugar Impact Diet Cookbook and Alan Christensen's Adrenal Reset Book. It has fantastic recipes. So, you know, stock up your pantry, get some of your favorite recipes ready as you plan out the course of the next 21 days. But keeping it simple is really key. And that's what, as a busy mom and doctor, et cetera, that I really wanna make sure that it's simple for me and simple for you. So you have your homework, um, doing your handouts, and reading the chapter that I provided for you. We'll be posting some other recipes from my modified elimination diet today as well. One of the things in the detox cleanse guide is 
the foods that are allowed and the foods that are not allowed, right? So foods that are allowed and foods that are not allowed. So there is a lot in the allowed list. I want you to enjoy them. One thing I do want you to cross out is agave syrup under sweeteners. We really don't want to use sweeteners at all in general, but um, take out the brown rice syrup and the um, agave syrup. And stevia, xylitol is okay, natural fruit, okay, but unfortunately syrups, even the agave acts like, unfortunately, high fructose corn syrup in our body. So we're going to stop that. Now, Join me as I will share my computer screen and walk us through the ins and outs of detox. All right, so we're getting started with our 21-day detox. And when we talk about detoxification, we think, oh, well, it's in my genes that I have high blood pressure or high cholesterol or um, fat. Well, truthfully, if, if that's the conditions that you're living with, then you have survivor genes, right? You have genes to make you exist in conditions that are uh, tough to endure, right, with famine and you know, long, extensive tracks of walking and wandering and hunting, etc. So consider yourself lucky, but now we need to empower your genes to do what they're meant to do. The key to understand is that our body competes with genetics and the environment, but 25% is genetic based and 75% is environment based. But what is in our environment will influence how our genes express themselves. So we want to clean up our genes, right? And we do. Why do we, we want to clean up our environment? So why do we want to do that? Because we live in a toxic world. Sad to say, but it's very true. And hmm, this toxic world is full of things that I can't pronounce. So I just put the initials here, PCB, PCN, PVD. Okay, so I'll tell you what those are. But the key reason I want to tell you why these are, because in a study that looked at cord blood in newborn infants, we found 287 chemicals. So in cord blood, there were 287 chemicals, and 180 of these chemicals were identified as chemicals that cause cancer in humans or animals, and 217 are toxic to the brain and nervous system, 208 cause abnormal development and animal tests. So you may say, well, I'm not gonna have another baby, so what do I care if I have toxins or not? We lead by example, and our consumerism leads industry, right? I have a client who um, works with Monsanto, and I, you know, we had a lovely discussion about this, and, and they said, seriously, they said, we, if we will respond to consumer demands. So when consumers demand everything organic, clean, et cetera, then that's what we'll be providing. So that's key because we know that, um, you know, we talk about glyphosate, right? The um, herbicide, which is Roundup and how toxic that is. And it's found in breast milk. It's found in cord blood. I mean, it is, um, and, you know, it's, it's horribly toxic. Clients that I've treated with breast cancer had a long history of Roundup use. And we need to consider this in our diet. So PCB, the polychlorinated biphenols, the... PCNs, polychlorinated naphthalenes, PBDEs, polybrominated diphenyl esters, organochlorine pesticides. And those are, you know, were uh, largely banned, but we, it accumulates in the food chain. It's there long over time. So things that we're seeing in our paints, in, um, in the varnishes, wood preservatives, uh, Gosh, computers, televisions, flame, the flame retardants that are in those materials are getting into our bloodstream, getting into our children. And that is really frightening. We can go on in the list, but we think of the what's on inside our house, let alone what is outside, what we're breathing and touching and, con and being contaminated with. What's inside our homes, too, is um, is 
We need to be aware of it, make better choices, choose cleaner products, and reduce exposure. And we cannot eliminate exposure. And I mean that sincerely, sincerely, not at this time, not at this date, but we can empower our bodies to hugely improve the way we handle the toxins and do what we can to reduce our exposure to them. So that's why you're doing this detox with me, because not only for this generation, for your health and, and your longevity, that you live life fully to really passionately live all your purposes, but also for the next generation, that the next generation is also a healthier generation. I mean, the writing's in the sand, right? But we want to play in the sand. We want to have healthier sand to play in and green grass. I was uh, just at the um, conference in Orlando, and I was in the beautiful green grass out there doing my push-ups and uh, calisthenics of the of my of my day and thinking oh my gosh I don't know what my hands are absorbing pesticides herbicides etc but boy the grass is beautiful and so we have to empower our bodies detoxification processes it's for us it's for our children it's for their children it's for a healthier country and our what we do today as responsible adults is going to empower the trend and the availability of what our children and their children will have to use and eat and drink in the future and it's critically important and I just want to emphasize that as we detox detox is for hormonal balance as well so the ingredients I shared the process of alkalinizing your body and opening the detox pathways helps you clear hormones healthfully where I'm not going to get into it in great detail now I also want to um, emphasize that the part of this detox program is about healing the intestinal lining. So healthy whole foods. And I'll take you through a day where you're going to be doing three days of a protein shake or my seven-day vacay reset soup, which is on my website as well, but um, a protein-based like soup or liquid form to help heal your intestinal lining. Very, very important. Liquid, ju you know, water, juice fast are not healthy because when we are detoxifying, we are creating, um, let me show you this side. When we are detoxifying, we are creating intermediate compounds that are highly reactive, that are over 100 times more reactive than the natural toxin themselves. Toxins will be stored in fat, and as we store them in fat, and as we start to move them out of the fat and release fat as we're releasing the toxins, we need to support the detox pathways, phase one and phase two. And as we do that, um, these toxins can be safely removed, and then you can keep the fat off longer. And that's really crucial. So I want to um, go back over that again later. We know there are several factors that influence detox. You know, it depends on our age or gender, the diet and lifestyle that we're living, you know, the environment we're living in, the disease states, our genetics, supplement use, and intestinal health is all crucial. We're exposed to toxins from everything in our environment. We talk about amalgam fillings, the fillings, metal, silver fillings that have been in our mouth, that they contain mercury and how critical those are. We want you during this detox to um, eat wild caught cold water fish, avoid farm raised because farm raised are swimming in antibiotics and you're going to be ingesting antibiotics. So wild caught, free range, that's the um, meat sources that we want you to have. So again, we've had lots of toxin exposures. With the um, To help your body decrease the, ex the quantity of exposures, wash your fruits and vegetables. You can use a hydrogen peroxide, in a, a dilute hydrogen peroxide in your water to wash it. A little bit of apple cider vinegar on your fruits and vegetables can wash it as well to help reduce the um, herbicides and pesticides. On them and then again choose to choose organic sources so that's that's really key other um,
toxins that we're exposed to are from bacteria, viruses, yeast, and parasites. Now, there's a symbiotic relationship. We need healthy bacteria, and that's why I encourage all of us to be taking a probiotic, and that's really important. There's also healthy yeast within us, but too much is not good. That's why we are you know, emphasizing for health, for brain health, through for cardiovascular health, there's really a very, very low-carbohydrate diet and avoiding sugars, and especially artificial sugars and even potentially more damaging are the artificial sweeteners. We want to avoid any diet sodas. Um, so mechanical also, if you can get a massage during this time, you may need some um, manipulation, osteopathic manipulative therapy or massage, which again is very important. So structural health, if you're, is critical to healthy detoxification. We want you to be fluid and flexible and that is going to be a very important part of your detoxification movement. But if you have any structural issues that are any pain, that you'd be evaluated by, you know, chiropractor, osteopath, um, physical therapist, also, and regular massage therapy is fantastic during the detox as well. There's emotional toxins as well, stress. So we can begin by practicing the art of happiness, right? Manifesting our own mental atmosphere. As you'll see from one of the handouts I've given you, the PSQ, Positivity Self-Assessment Questionnaire that I created because I was tired of all the questionnaires that are so negative that we want to state and believe the positive statements about ourselves and focus on using positive words also during this time and remembering that you are the only one who can upset yourself. And you may say right now, oh no, my husband can really piss me off. But I assure you, you are the only one who can upset yourself. So, you know, retrain your consciousness in that effect. When I traveled around the world, I met with Indonesian healers and a Native Andean healer and a Native American healer. And one of the common um, beliefs is that our organs hold emotions. And from around the world consistently was told that the kidneys hold fear, the breast hold relationship, the pancreas guilt, and the liver hate. So we are detoxing all of these organs during this detox. As you follow the dietary instructions, as you follow the process, I want you to journal because emotions, thoughts, experiences you've had that you may haven't thought of in years will come up. And we need to acknowledge them, honor them, and let them pass or deal with them that need to be dealt with. So I encourage you to journal during this process. I'd love you to use filtered water. I highly recommend it is the one micron uh, water filter. Also reverse osmosis filters. Look at what personal care products you're using. If you don't have to use any, don't use any during this time. Your skin is gonna be detoxing during this process. So if you are putting creams, et cetera, on your body, that's something that's being absorbed versus released. And we want to release and decrease the burden of the process of detoxification that we're going through because we want to push a very efficient detox process. So consider the personal care products you're using and avoid anything that has gluten in it and really try not to use it. So even your shampoos, et cetera, can have gluten in, in them, and I'd like you to look at that and look at eliminating that as well. The chemicals in our home, I'm a big fan of seventh generation products. You know, vinegar and baking soda go a long way in a lot of ways in your home. EMGs, think about the electromagnetic energy fields, turning off your computer, taking a, you know, disconnecting to connect, right? Disconnect from the phone, disconnect from uh, the computer so that you can connect with people in your life. And that will make me very, very happy. Radiation exposure is another area. So microwaves and no, no. 
dietary choices, making the good, healthy choices, right? If you can pick it, peel it, fish and hunt it, milk it, grow it, then for the most part, you can eat it. We're going to work on alkalinizing our diet. And your chapter in the book that I've given you has a, a large chapter on, uh, a large part on what are alkalinizing foods and what are um, acidic foods. So I want you to lean to the 80% alkaline, 20% acidic because that's going to be a naturally detoxifying ratio as well. We talked about fasting. We'll get more to that later during this process and reducing stress. Say no to things that you don't absolutely have to do. Remember um, free range whenever possible. This picture of the cow shows ingredients being estradiol, estradiol benzoate, testosterone propionate, progesterone, Xeronol, trenbolone, acetate, MGA, and the last ingredient, beef. So if we consider that what we're eating is pumped full of hormones, antibiotics, toxins, etc., we want to avoid those as much as possible during this detox. And that's why I ask you not to eat any red meat during the detox once you're through the first 10 days. Don't panic now. But uh, once you're through the first 10 days, because I want your body to produce its own hormones and not to get them from the environment. So the modified elimination diet is about removing the most common allergy. So we're starting with removing gluten from our diet. That's step one. And weaning off the caffeine, alcohol, cigarettes. Wean slowly so you avoid symptoms. And if you start to have symptoms like headache, the Mighty Maca, which has 500 milligrams of vitamin C has per scoop, um, you know, I want you to take a couple extra scoops of Mighty Maca or take vitamin C. Um, and mix that up, enjoy that, and that will help naturally resolve the headaches, okay? This modified elimination diet also is, I want it to be lower glycemic and higher on the alkaline foods, and that will help you reduce food cravings. I'm challenging you to reduce toxin exposure during this time, including to what we're putting on our bodies. And, uh, during the modified elimination diet, towards the end, we'll be going to towards a 72-hour protein fast. We never fast without protein because, like I explained, phase one and phase two detoxification both need to be supported so that we eliminate these toxins that have been accumulating in our fat and our body and in our brain is in our brain um, efficiently. So we want to do that. Plus, the modified elimination diet is an anti-inflammatory. So if you're um, suffering with joint pain, etc. This will resolve during this time. Survival pearls for detox. Be prepared. Drink two plus liters of filtered water between meals. And I say between meals because we don't want to dilute our stomach acid. So between meals. Plan your meals in advance so you're not caught unprepared. Keep nuts with you, dried kale, you know, something that's allowed with you in your car. Stock up in your, in your purse, in your briefcase, wherever, so that you're not going to be so hungry at a point that you feel like you need to stop and get uh, or actually drive through somewhere, which would be worst case scenario, which none of you are going to do. Plan your meals in advance. Again, if there's constipation or diarrhea, we're adding um, probiotic, extra fiber, magnesium, and vitamin C. Use additional detoxification support so we can empower your body's detox process to safely support phase one, phase two, removing, releasing, and eliminating toxins. <laughs> there are some special needs that people usually come to me with during detoxification. And... Um, I want to emphasize that our main goal here is to regain the pathway to health and cleanse and infuse the organs with nutrients while decreasing inflammation. So that's our main goal. As I've shared with you, I also want to release the 20 pounds that the last few months have piled onto me. And, um, and that's going to be with making low glycemic choices, not snacking, because that's going to keep our insulin level high. So we want to make these healthy, low glycemic choices. Now, if we're dealing with yeast candida, if you have had yeast infections more than two in the last year, if you have a toenail fungus, if you have um, any 
bodily yeast anywhere issues. If you stick out your tongue and your tongue has a white coating on it, I want you to avoid fruits, vinegars, yeasts, and sugars in anything that you're eating. So a sample start is also listed in your um, chapter on detoxification so that you can give you an example of how I've recommended and, and have gone through myself so many clients starting detox. So you start a day with a large glass of warm water. I want to help the vessels vasodilate. If we drink something cold, it's gonna vasoconstrict or constrict our blood vessels. So on rising, on an empty stomach, a large glass of warm water. You can put a little squirt of lemon in it or some apple cider vinegar in it. But, and then take your probiotic. It's a good time for you to exercise or stretch. During this time, many of us are just coming out of an intense period and we may not have been working out regularly. Then I just want you to start the day with a stress. I like a stretch. I like to get my exercising done in the mor morning. That's why I put it here. But put it somewhere that you're comfortable with during the day. But it may be a walk walk out 10 minutes turn around and walk back 10 minutes that may be where you're at starting and that's fine because this is a restorative time too stretching is going to be really key stretching you know after a hot shower in the hot shower in a hot bath being able to stretch with your muscles warm are really important and that's going to help you detox remove toxins out of our muscle out of our joints and ligaments etc so it's a very important part to incorporate into your diet where it fits best but good idea to even spend five to ten minutes stretching in the morning that will make me very happy <laughs> take your breakfast I, I like to do my detox shake in the breakfast sometimes you can put a little shot of pomegranate juice I've gotten away from juice pretty much all together now to avoid sugars and take your morning supplements. You could also have a salad with quinoa and nuts and ground flaxseed in it for breakfast. That would be fantastic. Um, free range eggs, turkey bacon to start would be fine when we get further on in the detox. Um, I'd like you to be more vegetarian. Mid morning, nothing till you drink some nice pure filtered water and um, before lunchtime. You can also drink herbal teas and I'll have you make an alkaline broth so you can sip on that during your detox as well. The alkaline broth is essential. You're just adding in minerals and plus it'll keep you from snacking on anything that you really shouldn't be snacking. Example for lunch getting started would be an organic uh, chicken uh, filet, um, a vegetable patty, tempeh, miso, some hummus would be fine, a fresh salad with raw vegetables, sprouts, and nuts on it. Again, if we're trying to release weight, let's stay away from gluten-free crackers, but you could do some nut crackers or something if you felt like you wanted to. In the mid-afternoon, I want you to do another liter of pure water, and in the evening, I like to do something very light. So a homemade soup, you can put everything in your mixer and puree it just to help with that. But, you know, feeling like a good homemade soup, especially during the winter is absolutely excellent. Hummus is another great source of some protein, add some vegetable sticks, that will be perfect. Uh, light fish filet, white fish filet would be excellent as well. You can do a detox protein shake in the evening as well. After dinner, nothing for two hours. And then if you wanted some hot tea, a green drink, a vegetable juice or water, that's perfect. There's additional support that you may want for detoxification, and that includes steam baths. Steam baths are fantastic, and if you're getting out of a steam bath to have cold water to help vasoconstrict and then getting back in the steam bath to vasodilate, and that alternating is very invigorating. Using a loofah to scrub down the skin, again, your skin is detoxifying, to, so scrubbing off, um, you know, scrubbing the skin very lightly to firm you know to firmly to tolerate I don't want to hurt yourself or or um, cause damage to your skin but you know use some use some good um, a good loofah or good uh, a skin brush to help all over your body to invigorate the skin to get rid of dead cells and remove toxins fantastic infrared sauna is excellent 
colonic hydrotherapy, doing massage, deep tissue and lymphatic massage, which is very light massage. You can also add in as a treat to yourself a nice clay wrap, detox, body treatment, and facial. Um, meditation and prayer during this time again we're detoxifying emotionally and spiritually so i encourage you to do that as well as journaling and at the beginning you know again with your transformation progress tracker to write down your goals and setting forth your positive intentions and keep those where you can see them so that you you stay focused during this detox so wishing you a Vita Pura. Very excited for you to be on the road with me for detox. This will probably be our longest video, so don't worry. The rest will be much shorter. But I encourage you to join in daily and also post your comments and your experience. Look forward to seeing you soon.